In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel, according to St. Luke, chapter 11, verses 33 through to 41. No one, when he has lit a lamp, puts it in a secret place or under a basket, but on a lampstand, that those who come in may see the light. The lamp of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is good, your whole body also is full of light. But when your eye is bad, your body also is full of darkness. Therefore take heed that the light which is in you is not darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, having no part dark, the whole body will be full of light, as when the bright shining of the lamp gives you light. And as he spoke, a certain Pharisee asked him to dine with him. So he went in and sat down to eat. When the Pharisee saw it, he marveled that he had not first washed before dinner. Then the Lord said to him, Now you Pharisees make the outside of the cup and dish clean, but your inward part is full of greed and wickedness. Foolish ones! Did not he who made the outside make the inside also? But rather give alms of such things as you have. Then indeed all things are clean to you. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true followers of yours, following the light of Christ. In this scripture reading today from St. Luke, there are two sections. The first one has a, a subheading which is, says, Spiritual perception, a light to see by. Jesus says here at the beginning about no one, when he has lit a lamp, puts it in a secret place or under a basket, does not cover the light up. So whenever those who come in may see the light, can see where they are going. Then he says, the lamp of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is good, your whole body is full of light. When your eye is bad, your body also is full of darkness. This reminds me of something happened to me recently. Some may be aware of what happened. Where I had to go and get some eye surgery done. I had cataracts. Fairly simple surgery. But it has made a difference. Between what I was seeing and what I see now. Okay, I'm still wearing glasses, but that just helps me read. But I can see much clearer now without even the glasses. I can see the light. I see things clearly. We live in a dark world. You don't have to go too far to see what's happening in the world today. So many people have turned their backs on God and followed this darkened world. 
when you can't see what you're doing, where you're walking or whatever, we quite often will bump into things, fall over. Have you ever driven a car in the dark without any lights on? It's scary. Yes. And even now, in this world, it's scary. Because so many people, so many people are now hiding the light of Christ, turning their backs on Christ. It's scary. People have turned their backs on God, following his commandments, and even the commandment that Christ gave us before he returned to the Father about loving one another. Yes. So much war is on happening in the world at the moment. Not just in Ukraine, between Ukraine and Russia, but many other parts of the world. Darkness is ruling. It's time. It is time to bring back the light of Christ to the world. So we can see with our eyes that which is good. Yes. In the second part, of course, we read about the pride of the Pharisees. Jesus was invited to a Pharisee's house to have something to eat, to dine with him. And he came in, but he didn't wash his hands. The Pharisees saw it and marveled that he had not first washed before dinner. And the Lord said to him, now you Pharisees make the outside of the cup and dish clean, but inward part is full of greed and wickedness. They are bound up on this law about washing, forgetting that you may clean the outside of it yourself or your, your utensils your cup, plate, but inward is full of greed and wickedness. The inward part. And Jesus then said to them, Foolish ones, did not he who made the outside make the inside also? The last verse would rather give arms of such things as you have than indeed all things are clean to you. We must be careful. We don't fall into this, this trap of the Pharisees. So in this darkened world, we must turn on the light of Christ within ourselves and that in turn around. As Jesus said at the beginning of that section, the lamp, the lamp is your eye. We need to uncover the eyes so we can see clearly, so we don't fall and make mistakes. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Don't fall into the trap and cover it over. Then you'd be like everybody else in this dark of the world, stumbling being led easy like a blind person. No. We 
follow only Christ, God. Come out of the darkness and into the light, and you'll see so much more clearly. I urge you all to get to know God through Jesus Christ in his teachings. Open that Bible up that you haven't opened for a long time. Read what is in there. Read the Gospels. See the light of Christ and follow him. And when you pray, give God the glory for giving you those opportunities to see the light of Christ. Glory to you, O God. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us.